Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 as the Buccaneers. So, we are currently at war with the Kree, and also with Hungary, but Hungary doesn't really matter too much. And I plan to keep it that way. It would be nice to take his capital, but I don't even know where his capital is. It looks like it might not be coastal, or it might be like up here, which would be slightly problematic. I would need a canal or something like that or I would need a land army. But for now we can take a few more coastal cities. Not much else to do on this turn, however. There's still that field cannon, let's maybe kill it before it runs away. I unlocked Merchant Republic, but I don't think we'll be switching our government. I'm fine with monarchy. The extra housing is actually nice. Let's check city-states. Yes, I'm sure I want to close the menu. Yeah, city-states are still fine. I could actually get allied with one more. I got five envoys right now. Yeah, I don't know about that. If we can get an engineer to do that quest, we could actually get allied with one more city-state. I could actually also temporarily switch my policies to get two envoys from one. Let's do that then. And I'm keeping everything else. So that way I can send one envoy and get two. Then I could probably get a great engineer, and then I would only have to spend one. And we could send an envoy to Hatosa too. Religious conversion, yeah, I could do that with an apostle. Alright, let's send one to Hatosa, and I'm actually going to grab an apostle right away, I think. Yes, let's grab one. I mean, we don't have 2000 faith right now, unless I want to spend that to buy a great person. I don't think so. We will get this one without spending anything. Because I'm in the lead, I'm getting 12 points per turn. We will get that guy. I wouldn't mind Eiffel, however, I'm only getting 4 great engineer points per turn right now. So that's not coming anytime soon. I might still be able to get him later, but for now let's get an apostle. Here. I could probably get two apostles actually. I got quite a lot of faith. Yeah, alright, let's get two apostles. And we can use them to spread our religion a little bit. So, back to the Kree. Let's get rid of that field cannon. First. Before he runs away to repair. And I can repair my own ships, I suppose. Yeah, I don't want to attack him from inside city bombardment range. Yeah, he's gone. And let's repair slightly. Then we'll go for the next city. Plus on movement. As for civics, yeah, that's going to be humanism, I guess. I am not getting a great artist anytime soon, possibly ever. <laughs> well, definitely not in this era. Alright then. Oh yeah, the spy. What do we do here? Gain sources first. I suppose I will not be capturing that city. It's not directly coastal. So it will be a bit of a pain to capture it. I'm focusing on coastal cities. I would like to convert Antioch as well. But yeah, that will require an apostle. I could also build a holy site in Port Royal, but I queued up... something else. Yeah, I queued up an industrial zone. Alright, more trade routes. 16 gold per turn, or 13 gold per turn is fine. We could do 16 with Yerevan. This should be relatively safe. Okay, that works. I still need a few more traders, but I do have some queued up. 22 gold. That should also be relatively safe. 21 with Antioch. Yeah, let's go with this one, because that will give me 2 culture as well. And 22 gold. There. We are making almost 200 gold per turn now. You want peace? I don't think I'm interested just yet. We could easily take one more city. This one. I could take two more cities. I also want to know where oil is. Before we peace out. Because if I have no oil but one of his cities has oil, then I will obviously be capturing that city. We are pretty damn close now. I might actually spend a little bit of faith to speed this up. Not because I need to, but just to reveal oil a little bit faster. 
Oh great, another field cannon, this time inside the city. That might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, well... Let's start doing some damage then. That means I should probably stay away with any ships that aren't at full health. Because they might get one shot. Okay, sure. Oh, another field cannon. Well then, okay. This could get interesting. Maybe Mali will help me out? Because he is at war with everyone except Teddy. Can we peace out with Hungary? Nope, two more turns. I don't need to be at war with Hungary. There's just no reason. Right, there's an apostle. So we probably want... Yeah, this. Religious spread eliminates 25% of existing pressure from religions in the target city. We want that. I guess we wanted that twice, actually. Yep, and now I can use them to spread our religion. Here, we'll keep trading with Sumeria. So, let's see how much damage this is going to be. Did he do anything? Well, he didn't attack my ships. That's interesting. Well then, let's maybe keep the caravel in here. Because I wouldn't want somebody else to block that tile. It's the only tile I can capture that city from. It could get my caravel killed, that's definitely a possibility. But that's alright, it's just a caravel. This shouldn't take much longer. And I got more ships. Yeah, except now I can't actually attack. Alright. We'll just move over. Mali is sending a lot of privateers. I mean, that's good, but that's exactly why I wanted to take that tile before Mali blocks it. So, what do we build? A campus wouldn't be bad. A theater square wouldn't be bad, but I can't get bonuses. A holy site might be worth considering. Yeah, let's actually get one more holy site. Sure, why not? I only got two holy sites right now. So, one more certainly wouldn't hurt. And I can always spend fate to buy great people. Yet another trader. How about we send him to one of our newer cities? Let's send him to Tortuga. There should still be some decent trade route in there. I queued up a pirate haven in here, so now we can speed it up by removing the jungle. And I think I'll send one apostle west and one apostle east. One of them can handle Antioch and the other one can handle Hatosa and some other cities in the area. Okay, that wasn't as much damage as I thought it would be. Civil engineering boss and siege tactics. Also, I think I had enough ships for now. Maybe we should get some bombards, just in case I end up having to take a city that's not actually coastal. Yeah, alright, how long would that take? Oh, I haven't even unlocked the bombards yet. That's not a bad thing, because I could get a trebuchet real quick and then upgrade it to a bombard. How quickly can we get bombards? Yeah, not that quickly. Gunpowder first. Okay, I think we can get rid of city fortifications now, so that I won't be taking any city bombardment damage anymore. Back up slightly and repair. This is fine. And use the other ships. I can almost take the city right now. If I could attack with more caravels, I would be able to take it right now. But we will definitely take it on the next turn. What's happening here? City needs food. Oh, it's fine. We can get some farms. Alright, factory next, obviously. And let's get a farm then. Although I would prefer a lumber mill, to be honest. Six out of seven housing. Yeah, lumber mill is obviously a better choice in that case. Amphitheater. I think that was like my first theater square or second. And this is my first and the campment district. So let's get the barracks. I will not be waiting for an armory, however. That would take way too long. This is still a decent trade route. Or this one. Yeah, sure, why not? That's plus two production. And decent gold still. 
All right, I think that's that. Let's keep moving. There we go. Three more bills. Yeah, let's get a lumber mill and then we can maybe get two farms. This is enough bills to cover this general area. Hey, that's not very nice. Okay, then. Can we take that guy out? I do have two crossbowmen. Might be better to move this guy into the city. But then I will not be able to attack with both. That was pretty good damage. Now he will probably run away. Otherwise, I will kill him. Right, back to the other city. I can definitely take it right now. Does that encampment belong to this city? Yes, it does. Oh, that is really nice. That is going to be very useful. Let's do this. This should be more than enough damage. Right? It looks like it's enough damage. Yes, that's enough damage. And there's no melee unit that I can see, so we can take it safely. There we go. Obviously keep it. This is a really nice city. 10 population. Repair the monument. Repair the granary. Yeah, let's just repair everything. And then we can build city walls. Focus on production, because there's not a lot of housing. And now we could probably peace out, but I would still like to reveal oil. Just to make sure. I could actually buy this guy right away. I think it's still worth it, because that way I will get whoever is after him faster. Let's just do that. I need to know where oil is. We'll find out on the next turn. Okay then. So, not much else to do in here. I could send one more envoy to Muscat. But I only got three left. Let's maybe not do that. Lumber mill, lumber mill, and then farms. Alright then. I could still go for one more city if I want to. Although, I don't want to get too greedy. We could definitely raid that city a little bit. That's kind of what I got that policy for. Especially districts. That's potentially nice yields. What's this? Is that a theater square? No, not interested. At least not yet. He actually stayed and attacked my crossbowman. Well, too bad for him, because now he's going to die. But let's move back inside. Need more housing? Yes, I'm aware you need more housing. So what's this? Is that a theater square? Oh, that's a campus and it's already pillaged. Never mind then. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is already pillaged. And I'm going to need a builder for obvious reasons. How about we get one here? That's a narrow clad, but that's Mali. Yeah, that's a lot of pillaged stuff. I could just buy a builder. Yeah, this will take way too long. I think I might just buy a builder. Although most of these pillaged tiles are districts. A builder will not help with that. Right, let's pop that scientist, shall we? And find out where oil is. Tell me we got oil, thank you very much. Do we have oil? Seriously now? Are you actually kidding me? There's no oil inside my border? 11 results. Okay then. Tell me there's some oil nearby. I suppose I could settle a city down here. To claim that one. I might have to. Is that seriously the only reasonable source I can get? Come on! That is actually the only reasonable source I can get. I could also get this one. <sighs> well then. I guess we'll be buying a settler. I think I'm just going to buy one here. Yeah, I lose one population, but I don't care about that. I care about claiming the oil. And we can just settle a city down here. I will also get salt, which I don't think I have otherwise. And we can get mercury. This is actually going to be a pretty nice city. Let's just buy a settler then. It will be a little bit expensive, but whatever. I need one. We are making 250 gold per turn. This is less than 5 turns worth of my income. It's fine. And the crossbowman can escort him. Yeah, this was a little bit annoying. I could probably also claim this one. Yeah, this city can actually build a settler reasonably quickly. 
Again, it will lose one population, but that doesn't matter too much. And I got a unit that I can use as a escort. Yep, let's do that. We'll claim two sources of oil. These cities will not be very good, but they won't be totally terrible either. And it's mostly the oil that really matters. But still, how many times am I going to play and not have oil? And it's the most important strategic resource in the game, pretty much. You are really screwed if you have no oil whatsoever. Do we stay at Warden or do we peace out now? I could probably peace out at this point. But let's actually attack a few more times. Can I kill that guy? Yes, I should be able to do it. Like this. Yeah, that will take care of him. So, I think we can actually peace out. I don't need another city. And I do not know where his capital is. And I think he's basically irrelevant now. He's down to 53 science. Yeah, let's not get too greedy. How are the grievances? Yeah, I got way too many grievances now. Because grievances also give you penalties with other AIs, as you can see. Minus 17 grievances, or minus 17 opinion because of grievances from other players against us. Let's end this. Can we get some money from him? Because I certainly wouldn't mind that. Really? You won't even give me 400 gold? What the heck, bro? Okay, he won't give me, like, literally any gold whatsoever. 10 gold. Alright, fine. Fine. It's not even worth asking for 10 gold. But there you go. You happy? Thanks for keeping the... Yeah, I am keeping peace on the continent, that's right. Alright. So, what now? Now we need to secure the oil. So that's what we're going to do. And I am technically still at war with Hungary. Could I maybe go after Hungary? This seems to be his closest city. Which is not super close, but it's not that far away. I could actually go there and then just pillage some stuff. You know, to take advantage of my unique unit. And I might do that. Amenities are still fairly high. Partially thanks to the Pirate Haven. Yeah, what the heck, let's just do that. I mean, it's not like my ships have anything better to do right now. They most certainly do not. Now that we pissed out. So, yes, one more lumber meal, thank you very much. There's the monument, but loyalty is totally fine. Where's Victor right now? Right here. Let's move him to that city in the middle. Because this one is further than nine tiles away. Off you go then. That's the one. I could also use him to get slightly more oil. However, I do not have that promotion right now. I would need to pick up defense logistics. Which I might. It might actually be worth it. So, I wouldn't mind a theater square. Well, yeah, none of these will get any bonuses. Let's just get to the lighthouse first. And our apostles are almost there. I should probably also convert my own cities here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's just grab another apostle. I can afford it. Why the heck not? And we'll move towards Hungary. I could wait to unlock fleets. But I'm not quite close to doing that just yet. Yeah, no, that will take a little bit too long right now. Let's just go. Two more builds, so that's going to be two farms, basically. I guess. So, the settler, let's go. Before somebody else claims that. I don't think anyone will right now, but, I mean, you never know. They might be pretty close to revealing oil themselves. It's probably going to be right here. Yep. Uh, hold on, there's one more sea-based oil. I can probably get both. Uh, volcano eruption. You know, I never actually settled this city right here. I'm not sure if it's even worth it at this point. I mean, it might not be. <laughs> That's a good question. Is it actually worth it at this point? I don't know. So, same promotion as before. And now we can go for metal casting to unlock the bombard. 
the trebuchet will be done on the next turn, or steam power to unlock canal, as well as railroads. Not that I need railroads, but I can use them to get some era score. You were supposed to convert Hatusa. Yeah, hold on, can we claim both? No, not really. Oh, that's unfortunate. If this was a land tile, then I could actually claim both. But alas, unfortunately it's not. So I cannot claim both. Well, I'm happy enough that I can get one. I'm okay with this. Not having any oil whatsoever would be much, much worse. Alright, let's keep moving. Is Hunger still at war with people? Yes, he is. Oh, it would be hilarious if I could start a war between the Kree and Hungary. Could we maybe do that? Possibly? Yeah, we could actually do that. What the heck, let's do that then. And who was the last one? That would be Mali. Well, and also Sumeria. I think they were already at war, but now they have a peace treaty. Or maybe not. Yeah, what the heck, let's get them to join. Hungary is actually still fairly strong. So if we can get Hungary to fight literally everyone in this game, <laughs> that will be perfect. There we go. And now Hungary is at war with literally everyone in this game. How is his tech count right now? He is currently second. Sumeria is first, Mali is third and I'm currently fourth. But I'm catching up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is going to be fun, but not for Hungary, I'm just saying. It will take me a while to get there, but oh well. It's not that far away. Here you go, one more farm. And while I do that, I will build up a small ground force. Just in case I have to use it at some point to, let's say, capture a capital from the Kree. In case I end up going for domination victory, for example. I haven't actually decided what kind of victory this is going to be yet. <laughs> Who cares? We will get some kind of victory, don't worry. Another eruption? Wait, was that two eruptions in a row? Maybe I should buy that tile and get a builder. Yeah, I mean, I probably should. Yeah, let's get a builder after that industrial zone. And enlightenment next, or mercantilism? Let's see, mercantilism is needed. No, it's not. Enlightenment is needed for nationalism. And let's go for that then, because I would like to unlock the fleet. Armory. I don't need one anymore, so that can wait. How about an industrial zone? Or, you know what, let's get a builder, because I kind of need one here. And I still need one more trade route. Most of my cities are way too busy at the moment. Here, that can be a trade route. That will do. And let's get our oil, shall we? And then I'll probably just buy a builder outright to improve all of this. Because I can get two luxuries and oil. Well, I mean, I can't get oil just yet because I do not have refining. But I can get salt and mercury. That's probably worth it. Right, there's the chabochet. Let's just move it over. Might as well move the crossbowmen over as well. Where was this guy supposed to go? Probably north. Yeah, to convert the cities I captured. That would be nice. I don't think they had a holy site or anything like that. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's keep moving. Just need to be careful about any ships Hungary might have in the area. If I could actually capture that city and hold it, that would be really nice. That would actually be the best case scenario here. Question is how much loyalty pressure that would be. It depends on how many other cities he has in the area. How was this not enough? What the heck? I thought for sure that would be enough. We can steal a boss from the Kree, or we could go for something easier to pick up a promotion. Rebellion in 20 turns, hold on! Could I get the city to rebel? Maybe I could. Well then. Oh, that would be amazing if I could actually capture that city without using my military. Or by capturing a free city. I don't actually have a lot of ground units, but that's a good reason to get more. Let's get another trebuchet, shall we? 
that's only five turns and then I can upgrade it to a bombard. I don't need more ships right now. I'll need them later, but for now, let's see if we can actually get this city. If my spy succeeds, that should make the city flip. It doesn't even have city walls. That is actually amazing. How the heck does it not have city walls? It's a 19 population city. That is really weird. That is actually really weird. Alright, I mean, that's his problem, not mine. I hope the spy is going to succeed. That is such a good city, 19 population. Alright, carry on, let's go. No time to waste. We want that city over there. I might actually end up going for domination, but I don't know, I haven't decided yet. It would be the most appropriate victory condition. So, do we use this one more time or what the heck? Four followers. I don't want to waste too many spreads, but I want to convert Antioch. There we go, that converted it. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.